Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Summer Solstice Beyond Belief Retreat Saturday webinar featuring Jim Charles and the whole gang. How would you like to introduce the whole gang there, Valerie? Sure, I can introduce who's here. We have Alexandra, Barbara Joy, Carolina, uh, Asia, I'm not sure how you say that. James is, of course, here. We have Roxanne with us, Sheer, Stephanie, and myself. And Jim, would you like to introduce who's with you? Well, I can, there's so many here today. There's, I'm going to have them introduce themselves, and I'm going to leave out one person because I have a special guest here today. But why don't we start with Mark? We have Mark. We have Sarah, we have Angie, we have Holly, we have Guru Dan is here. I cannot see who's that. Is that Lana or is Wendy? Wendy, Lana, and we have Bree, and we have Safira, and Will Mitchell. There is, and there is more coming. There is more coming. So uh, that's amazing. Beyond Wait, Belief. Here's my spot. <laughs> yes. It is a Beyond Belief Saturday webinar. It is going to be amazing. So because I, the energy here is just really fantastic. It's Beyond Belief. Quote yes. unquote. Can so you tell everybody in. that's watching? Where are you, Jim? Because everything's just here. Yes. <laughs> so. Nothing neat. Go ahead, Valerie. Take it away. Okay. Where are you, Jim, so that everybody watching here. knows what's going on? This is the Beyond Belief Retreat in Hot Springs, Arkansas that Will has put together and did an absolutely fabulous job. Yes! Wow. 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 And the place that we are staying is absolutely amazing. We are right on the lake. This house is a mansion. It's it's uh, very posh and beautiful, and everybody is having a wonderful time. So I, I see a smile on every face. <laughs> so that is wonderful. And uh, the energy here is terrific. And would you like to say anything, Mr. Bon Beyond Belief? <laughs> I've been sending energy to this place for, for several months, and uh, it picked me. Yes. And this, this is just an epic... Epic event. I mean, we had epic events happening on the drive here, mm -hmm. and as oh, soon yeah. as we got here, when anybody gets here, they're just in awe of what this place is and the energy here, the energy we're going to create on this retreat. And today's all about belief and release. So we're going to be releasing a lot of things that no longer serve us. We're going to check in with our belief systems. We're going to allow the Holy Fire to come in and take away what no longer serves us in our belief systems. And hopefully we will embody, we will set your intention to embody your true awesomeness. Absolutely. <clears throat> Fantastic. Is there any other announcements before we start? Any more? Uh, the only thing I think I'd like to say is the, uh, the, the opening ceremony got canceled yesterday because I didn't arrive until absolutely way late. So... <laughs> Yes. And we're glad oh. that you're okay. Those you, details are in the uh, comments of the events page. So if you want to find out what happened, you can go there. And we may be taking some questions today, but then maybe not a whole lot of questions because we have a lot of people here already. So uh, I'll try to mix it as best as possible and be fair uh, with everybody. So uh, that's all I can think of right now. We're at this absolutely great place on the lake. It's just awesome. It is. It's beautiful. Well, that sounds absolutely wonderful, you guys. And it's so great to be joining in and sharing with the energies there. So, uh, Jim, would you like to take over from here? Yes. I know that today, Ish is going to do an update on the fourth dimensional energy clouds, etc. So, because he's gained some new information about it. And then I'm not sure what will happen after that. So, we'll be. We'll just be waiting on whoever. So, but right now I'm going to do a, a couple minutes of meditation, and we'll bring Ish in to do his thing, 
and then um, just send us energy because I know that there's so much here already, but it's going to be an awesome day today. So much love to you all. It's good to see you all, and um, we'll be back in a, a couple minutes, and I'll be back a little later, and then we have a special guest today as well. Mm, beautiful morning to you today. Hi, Ash. Hello. How Good are morning, you? Ash. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I've come to give you an update on the fourth dimensional energy that is in the solar system, or almost here. It is not here yet, but it's on its way, and it does look like it's going to come pretty much right through the middle of the solar system. But I've learned a lot more about it, so there's less there's less of a problem with it than I thought. Yes, it will bring timelines together. Yes, it will draw fourth dimensional energy all over the place. And yes, it does fluctuate a bit. But it is going to be helping your Mother Earth. Mother Earth is going to be soaking in this fourth dimensional energy and going to be becoming much more healed by it. So that is one thing that we are aware of now that we were not aware of before. We did not realize that the Mother Earth was going to be taking in so much of the energy. The other thing that is important is that Little did I know, but many of the people on Earth have been calling for this fourth dimensional energy for quite a while now. I just became aware of that a few days ago. And it is that they are bringing this energy to us and want it to come right through the center of the, the solar system so that it does affect us in a very positive way. And it's a beautiful thing. And the effects of it as I can understand by those that are drawing it to us, or you, or whatever you want to say, I'm going to be part of it too, because I can't stand not being able to experience it in some way. So I'm going to be part of it as well. But they say it will actually ignite some of the fourth dimensional energy within you. And actually, you will be able to see other timelines, of course. You will be able to know that they are coming together. The Mandela effect has already been cited many, many times over. And it's very exciting in many ways. But do not be afraid of it. It will come when it comes. It will affect each individual separately according to how much fourth dimensional energy they have within their system, within their brains, within their body, and also it will affect them according to their belief systems. Interesting. Interesting. Because I know that the people that are sitting around here today that I'm looking at through fuzzy eyes are, are those that believe very much in the positive uh, energies of this planet and the ascension and the different things that are happening so it will be a wonderful and marvelous time for you now it will not end for a little while this energy will continue to go throughout its several hundred thousand miles long this this cloud of energy so it is going to be with you for a while so therefore uh, and it speeds up and slows down so we really can't give an accurate uh, time elapse, I could give you an approximation that will last from about the middle of September to the beginning of February. But that is an approximation. That is not a stable 
uh, or a, a, an exact time period. But I can see that it is going to be a beautiful time for Earth, especially Mother Earth. Oh, I know she needs a lot of help right now. And so many things are happening in your near future, as predicted by so many other uh, entities in the cosmos. And we are also predicting uh, other things as well during this fourth dimensional energy period. However, the fourth the people that are accepting this fourth dimensional energy will be much better off than some of those that are not. Do you understand that? They will be uh, denying that they're feeling anything. They will be denying that it's existing and trying to to uh, not pretend like they're not going psychotic because that's the way they're going to feel a little bit. Not not completely, but every now and then they're going to see themselves about 10 feet away or whatever, and they're going to, to question that. Or they're going to see people that were not alive at one period and alive in another period. Or they'll see their something, their house that looks the same but different, or a place that looks the same but different in a different timeline when they're moving along through their daily work. So... These are things to expect, but it's not, it's not anything to be frightened of. It's to be excited about, actually. You must be excited about this because it is a, a time of experience where no one else in your whole history has experienced. So it is a time when you will just be excited and go with the flow and talk to one another and just experience each other in a newer way because you will be feeling um, different portions of yourself coming in as well because you will be you are slightly different in other timelines so you will be experiencing yourself in some different ways and maybe it's it's like ooh I'm not sure that I like that portion but for the most part, in fourth dimensional energy, it will bring the positive portions of those other people to you as well. So you'll be experiencing lots more positivity about yourself because you may discover in another timeline that you have, or you're using talents that you're not using in this one, and you might want to just bring that out in this timeline because they are there eternally within the God soul, of course. When you connect to the source of God, he is the creator and you are creative and there's nothing that really you can't do. So if you're using other talents in close timelines, you might want to just say, mm, maybe I should develop that if that's something that's interesting to you. So, anyway, I'm just giving you a little update. Is there any questions? Did I leave anything out for there? Any questions? Well, I haven't got any questions right now except for one that was written in. Um, I can tell you, ask you, can you tell me why other groups are not familiar with your group right now? Because it's not able to be see by, seen by some of the other groups. You see, it's fourth dimensional energy. If you live in fourth dimensional energy, you might not even be able to see it because it's just what you live in. It looks like the same thing. So, I mean, but they should be able to de detect that it's coming. But the fifth dimensional people are aware of it because it is a different dimension. Third dimensional people are aware of it, but they can't see it. You see, the scientists of Earth are able to detect it, but they really don't know what it is. They th it's like the energy of some of the spaceships because they are fourth dimensional energy. However, this energy is fluctuating a lot more. It's moving with it. It's not fluctuating like really fast, but it is fluctuating within itself in a way that is very different than any of the ships that are in the in the the solar system or any of the that they have contacted or any of the cloaked ships. So therefore, yes, many would not be aware of it if they're coming from the dimension that it's from because they would just see it as their own thing. They will not see it as anything special necessarily except for the fluctuation, of course. But they would, it's not something for them to be excited about, so therefore they don't report it. But 
for it to hit through the center of the solar system, they may be reporting it eventually afterward or during. Uh, so, but you know, it, it is what it is. God has put things the way they are for a reason. So not everyone will be telling everyone because he might not want everyone to know. There are some surprises for some people coming up. So therefore, it will be what it is. And he will have his own way about all these things. I cannot tell you why it is what it is, but I can tell you that it is definitely there. Because many of are people are of uh, your people are already experiencing it and not quite in full force yet but they are feeling it and they Valerie you know that you're feeling it too and many other people are Wendy you're feeling it I know that others are as well and there's there's people in this room that have experienced it already so this energy is for a positive reason and is for a positive growth for your a belief system, not only for your belief system, but your experience, your positive movement to bring up the vibration of the planets, it's going to be wonderful, I believe. I have changed my mind about having it be a warning because it I was just unaware of all the different things that it was doing. But now that I've been made aware by some other species and, and uh, speaking to the God entities, I am totally accepting and uh, I'm totally saying here it comes. Here it comes. That's a wonderful, that's comes. a great answer, Jim. Um, yes? Sheer has a question. Oh, you... Sheer, how are you? You've experienced it already too. Hello, Ish. How are you? I am wonderful. Um, you mentioned that uh, the energy will affect uh, different people in different way. And yes. you mentioned a fifth dimensional people. There what are fifth dimensional. That? Yes, fifth dimensional people will be able to see it. Yes. So there are people here on third density that actually experience fifth density. Well, the fifth den there is a portion of the cloud that is fifth den dimension. I do not think that portion will be affecting you at all because that's not what is necessary but the fourth dimensional energy will be affecting you and I think that is the part that they really want to go through so don't worry about the fifth dimensional I do not think you will be experiencing anything fifth dimensional it is on the upper half of the cloud there is a section of it that is all fifth dimensional but the fourth dimensional portion will be going through your earth area in full force Okay, thank you very much. much You're love. welcome. Okay, Carolina. Hello, Ish. This is Carolina. Carolina, how are you, dear? I'm okay. Much love. Much love to you as well. Ish, um, I think it's so lovely that humanity is connecting more with the higher frequencies. I love that, the new species. Um, and I was wondering if you could tell us how or who protects humanity from species whose agenda is not what they say it is. I'm not sure I understand the question. So if somebody comes to us, you know, humanity, we're in 3D dimension. Yes. Uh, sometimes we cannot detect other species' agenda, like true agenda. Oh, I understand what you're saying. You want to know if the fourth dimensional energy will be able to help you detect someone that is of not of a proper energy. Yeah, uh, it, uh, how who protects humanity from species whose agenda is not what they say it is. You will be able to detect. I, I think every person in this room and on this uh, particular telecast will be able to detect if negative energy is around them because of who they are and how they are living their life and the energy that is within them they you cannot be fooled at this time if your intention is positive you cannot be fooled there are those that can be fooled because they are not in any intention they are not in any sort of realm or in any sort of um, 
goal with the energy. Do you understand? So if you have a goal with your energy, if you have a goal in setting your energy to detect these things, you will be able to do so. It is just the way it is. Your intentions have much to do with it. And if you have no intentions, of course you could possibly be fooled. But if your intentions are to move in a positive direction and to have a positive swing on the ascension or, or with the people that are around you, then you will surely detect negativity. Now, that doesn't mean you run screaming. It does mean that you send that person energy or that entity energy so that they might understand that you are of a positive nature. They will know what you are doing. They will know when you are sending them positive and good energy to change their energy and they may run screaming but not you. You stand firm. You stand firm and and bring out your positive energy and let them run screaming if that is what's necessary. But you do not run screaming from anything negative. That is to give them the upper hand and let them know that yes you are afraid of negativity. You are not. You are not afraid of negativity. Negativity is to be used to enforce the feelings of positivity. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. I love you. You are very welcome. Hello, Ish. I have a couple of member questions for you. Very, very well. And there are questions in the room as well. All right. Well, let me uh, go through the members online, and then we can go through the members in the room. Absolutely. Um, the first one's from Astrid. She'd like me to ask you to comment on the specific energies of the solstice, the full moon, and how all in the group can use this collectively and individually for the purpose of moving ascension forward. Well, the, the energies that are coming and are already have shown up, actually, for the solstice on the 20th of your uh, June are very calming, very, very calming energies. Now, I know that there's many, the Pleiadians have, have said that there are going to be very many disruptions during this time. I, I do not see that. I see that it's a very calming energy. I see that it's a very loving energy, and it is a preparation for the fourth dimensional energy that is coming and for all the disruption that is coming in the fall this is your time of meditation this is your time to prepare yourselves if you will for the greater good for the greater things and it is going to be if you intend it to be it will be the most calming and beautiful and uplifting energy for you at this time. These energies that are coming from the solstice, and they're already here actually, but they will be the most powerful on your 20th, especially in the evening when, when you are experiencing it, it with the groups of people that will be experiencing it. It will be like a lightning bolt around the planet. So, and it will be like a beautiful warm sensation it's, it will be like warm water pouring on you because it is that soothing and that beautiful and that powerful so just expect that it will be a calming and very but a very energizing calm in the sense that it will make you want to meditate want to make you become part of something very positive make you want to feel your make you want to touch someone to share the energy that is there with them because you are going to know that their energy is expanding and you're going to want to be part of that and they're going to be want to be a part of your energies as well does that make sense to you I think that was a very wonderful explanation of how things are going to expand and change. Love. It's going to be a, a love feeling. What you understand to be a love feeling. I have another question from Omran. He says, hello Ish, much love and gratitude to you. Much love. 
He says he finds himself being separated from others at times, and it hurts him to interact with 3D people. It's like living in another reality, and much information and knowledge comes back to him from the astral, which is not which does not make sense to him at all. Are these sudden changes in him connected to this energy cloud, or how will the energies around him change in September? Oh, that's another question. Um, he says, I feel like I will awaken a huge degree. So he's asking, well, how's, this, how's this going to affect him? First of all, let's start with the first question. You've always been affected by third dimensional people. You've always feel, feel, felt the disconnect with third dimensional people. So that is not something that is new. That is not something that has just started, although it's getting greater. And let me explain why. Because you are alien at the root of your thought processes. You are alien at the, at the root of your understanding. You are from a higher dimensional past life, and therefore you have that disconnect. There are many of you that do. Many of you that are experiencing a third dimension right now have a huge disconnect with it because you are wanting that energy from the other realm that you came from. And that makes total sense because the other realms were much higher, much easier to, to move through, much easier to be accepted in, much easier to to speak your mind in because they're more accepting. So right now it will get a little worse with the fourth dimensional energy, yes, but actually just embrace the fourth dimensional energy as it is. Those people with these fourth dimensional energy gaps will come together in one way or another. Here you are with all these people that there are some in this group that feel exactly the same way as you do. They are disconnected exactly in the same way and, and are bringing in fourth dimensional ener uh, energy and information in exactly the same way you are because you are going through this period in your time. It is a time of great acceleration for your people, a time of great um, change for the population of this planet. So it is actually, if I may say so, fairly normal for you. So therefore, do not be upset, but embrace it in a way that will, if you do embrace it, you will find that you will be able to communicate to the third dimension if, you, if that's what your intention is. If you would like to, be able to communicate with the third dimension, then take your fourth dimensional energy, intention your fourth dimensional energy to become more useful, useful is a good word, and you will be able to now bring yourself into a third dimension using fourth dimensional help. How's that? And I know that many of you have experienced that. You have been able to communicate with people because of fourth dimensional help. And there's many situations. I've heard so many situations from your planet about how people are just spontaneously reacting to your fourth dimensional energy because their fourth dimensional energy needs company. Does that make sense to you? So find your fourth dimensional energy. Do not be afraid of it. Other people have fourth dimensional energy that's overflowing and they have no one to speak to. And they need company. Their fourth dimensional energy needs affirmation. Affirm your friends. Affirm those people that you find with the fourth dimensional energy coming out of them and they will be drawn to you instantly. You have no idea. That is why so many people are drawn here. Because their fourth dimensional energy needs company, and it needs affirmation, and it needs to be talked about. And they cannot talk about it in the third dimension. And so here they are. So come, to, come with us and talk to us. That's wonderful-ish. That 
brings us to another very interesting question from member Rhonda. She says, Dear Ish, I'm told by my guides that I could possibly relocate via the Mandela effect. Is that possible? Can you confirm? Could I really just one day live someplace else without moving? Well, the Mandela effect is not going to be that strong in the sense that it's going to change people's um, their what is it? It's not going to they're not going to change their need to be where they are at that moment. They are going to need to be in the third dimension in that place because that's where they were born to for a particular reason, for certain lessons and things of that nature. Now, you may bilocate. Now, what I mean by that, you may end up in some other place for a temporary period. And that is all right. You may bilocate because your astral body needs to be in two places at once. And there, that is a possibility. But for you to move entirely to one place and not return to another, not that is not going to happen. But you will bilocate. And you will have a reason for that. Your subconscious will know what the reason is. And perhaps even your conscious mind may know what the reason is. However, you will not be living in two places at one time. But you may be visiting for some reason and this is a very positive reason you may need to go somewhere because there's people that are ill and you may be able to take your consciousness there and help them heal in another place or or feel their energies in other places that cause you to emote your caring and giving energy to them for a particular reason. Most times, my location has a, a great purpose of being with the ill, being with those that are dying, and affirming that there is life, that they are moving into a greater understanding. Now, if you're going somewhere with the ill and they have no chance of getting better, why would you want to go there? You are affirming that life is going to continue. You are affirming that they are part of all things. And you are affirming that your love is going to them and you are connecting with them with your particular fourth dimensional energies and with your love and healing. So therefore, no, you will not live in another place because you have a definite need to be where you are, a purpose to be where you are, but you will visit other places if that is what God desires of you. <laughs> is there other questions? There's one in the room here. Yes. yes, let's do the room first. Come over and speak into the microphone. Hello, Ish. Hello. How are you? <laughs> awesome. Thank you. So my question is this. As the fourth dimensional energy increases here, yes. there's, there seems to be violence increasing and a certain violent ideology getting bolder and increasing. So is this fourth dimensional energy going to also calm them down or are they going to get stronger because they are trying to work against it or put it down? Thank Very good question. But right now on your planet, violence and the negativity that is there is separated from the fourth dimensional energy that we are part of. They do have some understanding of it. They do have some of it in their brains. However, they choose not to use it. And they choose to the way that they are going. And eventually, eventually, as the fourth dimensional energy rises on your planet, they will be consumed by it. But it will not happen right away. Let me tell you why. Because they f are fighting against it, for one thing. They are fighting against the fourth dimensional energy because, A, they don't like change. They want things to stay the way they are. They do not, they want to be the leaders, they want to have control. When fourth dimensional energy comes, will they want the same thing? 
I don't think so. They may want some attention, but not the kind that they're getting at this time. They may want some love and guidance, but not what they're getting. They, don't, they won't want to destroy to feel the power that they will have. They will want to feel the power that they have to help others. Now you may say, oh, that's an idealistic thought. But you know, idealism is God. God is idealistic. Why should we not strive for that? Why should we not strive to be more like a God? It's not like we don't have it in ourselves. I'm speaking of us as a plural because God is within me as well, even as a spirit. But remember, you must feed that thought process. <laughs> You must not just ignore it and think that it will get stronger. You must feed that, pro that process so that you can understand that you can overcome. Thank you. You are welcome. Did that answer your question? Yes. But you're right. They will get more violent for now. Okay. Is she it, said? It's only temporary. Is yeah. it like the darkest before the dawn right now? It is, in some ways, yes. Uh, Brie, Brie has a question. Brie, is that right? Yes. 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 Um, okay, hi, Ish. Um, Speak up. I'm, I'm <laughs> curious if the fourth dimensional waves yes. are going to help Mother Gaia in her rebirthing process, and if that may potentially start to take place this year. Mm -hmm. And if all of this is connected, and um, especially it's, with all the stuff that may happen to the Earth in that process. Exactly why this energy, they're calling this energy. That's exactly why they call the energy is because Mother Earth needs a little break. Mother Earth needs some healing energy right now because she's been exploded on, shot up, you know, damaged with radiation. <coughs> pushed pollution upon her and her skies and this is going to be a little bit of a, a little bit of a breath of fresh air for her so that she can recover enough to bring us the future peace that is coming the energies will calm down and she will be a little more in a way to help humanity. How's that? Beautiful. That is what she is wanting to do. But you know, she's still fine right now. I mean, she manages to be happy through the worst conditions. <laughs> but she is also in need of your healing prayers and your energy. But this fourth dimensional energy will definitely is being brought here especially for her and not as much for you but more for her which I am now understanding Good, beautiful thank you so much you're welcome ah I think that it's time for me to go that is enough questions unless there's something really pressing Okay, Ish. Well, we would like to thank you so much for taking the time to come and speak with us today and clarify our thoughts about the energies coming our way. It's always a pleasure, my dear. Always. Namaste. And now, I understand what needs to be done. So, therefore, I am going to go away and bring Jim back for a moment. Have a wonderful day. Yes, that's the right message. Very good. Love you, Ish. Thank love you, Ish. Love you, Ish. All. I love you all. Hello? Welcome back, Jim. Hi, how are you? Hi. 
I opened it. It's open. Oh, oh, very good. Thank you. <laughs> yes, hydrate. <laughs> Will, where are you? I am right here. He's nearby. Will, this is the time for the opening ceremonies. Oh, okay. We have not done opening ceremonies, but I think that they should be recorded. And Ish said, do the opening ceremonies. Oh, cool. Awesome. Oh, what a great idea. Let's move forward with that then, Will. So I need to mic up. Okay. And so why don't I just steal this since we're wireless here? Yeah. And does someone want to operate? I don't know. I, I want to get up and walk. Okay, what do you want? Read you something. Oh, Is there a camera that we can follow you around with? That's what I'm trying to insinuate. Thank you for finding the words. Yes. <laughs> well, we don't really set up that at the moment. Yeah, yeah I know. Hey, um, we, are, we, we will be. A surprise. We can, we, exactly. Well, because Ish said this is the perfect time for the this opening This is the perfect time. This is the perfect time. And Shron's well, maybe, about to maybe everyone can this. gather behind you there, Will. Pardon me? Maybe everyone could gather behind you there. Do you need oh, to be everyone, with everyone around? That's a great yeah. idea. <clears throat> that way you don't have to move well, around well, and they can be not, in the scene. It's not really going to work. No? We can what? turn the camera around. Oh, Because yeah. people have to go. That'd be good. Okay. We have to walk. We all have to walk. We could do that. I've, yeah. I've given Mark a camera that he can attach to Jim's machine. Oh, and Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So let's so, give Mark a minute there. Slowly. No, we're not right here. Room. What am I doing? So Mark is setting it up so that he can record for you guys. Yes, yeah, so we're going to rotate this just a tad. Are you gonna here, I'm here. plugging in an external so we can point this wherever it needs to point. Hello again. Did you get here, Mark? Hello Mark? again. Yeah, thanks. Okay. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> so welcome everyone. Well, welcome everyone to the Beyond Belief opening ceremony. Yes. On our Saturday webinar this June 18th, 2016. Yes, welcome. Welcome. So far the events have been epic. I am I am humbled at all the stuff that we have done and all the love that we've shared already. And we haven't had any sessions. <laughs> we've just been here, been in each other's energy. And... Here we go. Now we can move around. Now we can move around. Cool. So well, I would like to focus on the center of the room because that's where... Are you good, the cameraman? So basically, I would like everyone to go hug each other. Oh, yes. Okay? <laughs> so that's what it is. It's, it's hug time. So find somebody. Come and hug somebody. I'm going to... And if you're... If you, wherever you are, it doesn't matter where you are. Find somebody to hug. Give us virtual hugs, whatever it is. Say hello. Spread the love. Be the love. Is, what is it? Be the love. Well, we can all virtually hug in the room while they're hugging physically. So I'm giving you all a hug. The hug body is awesome. It's all these with time. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Hi, baby. Come here. Oh, Guru Dan. Oh, Everybody's the camera on that side. Yeah, my, my new nickname in Arkansas is Uncle Uncle Patty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hi. It's so beautiful here. Oh, you've got the kite. It's such a comfortable hug. Thank you. Safira. Oh, awesomeness. Love you, Safira. Oh. oh, yeah. So much love in the room. So much love between us all. All the hugs. Sorry, I'm mic'd up. Your personal conversation is now live on YouTube. Awesomeness. Now ask everyone to set their intentions to add their blessings to the event. So anybody miss Holly? And share your share your blessings with everyone else. If you have Reiki or whatever healing modality that you have, 
please add while oh, they're still hugging. So I'm talking to no one. Feel free to turn the details for the retreat on the side if you'd like. Send your warm wishes and energy that way. <laughs> oh, so there's the camera over there. So now I'm in the camera. Okay. So let's let's tilt that up a little bit. So we can see people. There we go. Is that good? Better? Yes. So that's awesome. Does everybody gather around you? No, it's not. It's it's totally informal. Again, everyone, raise your hand and add the energy, your healing energy, your awesomeness. Engage your divine spirit that's inside you. Add your energy to the wow. <laughs> it just like <laughs> just the energy just rose up. It just totally rose up. Yeah, it's fabulous. Can, it's fabulous. Create this divine sacred space. Add your personal divine energy. Your energy cleanses. It sanctifies. It purifies. You are embodied already with this divine energy. Allow it to come through. Allow it to make this place sacred. This is your true nature. Yes. And share this energy with everyone. Touch hands. Exchange. Feel that exchange of divine energy. From your spirit, whether it goes through your hands or through your heart, it matters not. With our joyous, willful intention, we sanctify this place. We consecrate this place. Fabulous. <laughs> And this is what we do. <laughs> this is our true nature. Absolutely nothing. Cookie dance and love. <laughs> absolutely nothing can penetrate us. Big hug to everybody there. Inherently. Big hugs to everybody sure. there. Well, you can see any more. <laughs> I officially declare the retreat beyond belief. Yes. Officially open. Yay! Woo -hoo. And I pass the mic. Sure. Figurative, figuratively and literally. Okay. Thank you so much, Will. And work. I'll, I'll mic you up. He's gonna mic me up. And now, here, let's put this here. The festivities continue. <laughs> oh. Um, we're gonna redefine epic in a minute. Yes. He's lost his camera for a moment. <laughs> oh, you lost the camera? Yes. The USB is a little loose. Okay. We like loose. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear me now? We can hear you fine. Oh, we hear you fine. You can't see me now. Yeah, you can see you. Yes, it's okay, hold on. sideways there a little bit. One moment and we will be... Can we hear my And, and you're back. Dan, oh, pictures back. Dan, did you hear my conversation? Looks good, huh? How's that? Is that good? Yeah. And now for more Beyond Belief. I would like to introduce a special guest all the way from Australia, Kim Louise. <laughs> Honor. Thank Amazing. you Kim, for making the trip. <laughs> so what, Hello, everyone. So what we're going to do now is something that we haven't ever done before. We're going to channel two different entities and have them talk to each other. Oh, how exciting. Is that all right with you all? Oh, it's a wonderful. <laughs> okay. I don't know who's coming. We don't know who have any idea. Mm -hmm. We just thought of the idea and said whoever's coming is coming. But oh, we would a wonderful like idea. It. And may I add, Mark. Kim, you look absolutely gorgeous today. Mm -hmm. The light is shining. So this 
is like I never expected to see Kim Louise here, uh, and she is an awesome channeler worldwide. She is amazing, and I'm just very honored to be with you today. So me too, me too. And um, this will be something different. <laughs> so we'll both take a moment, and whoever decides to come in will be here. And they will talk to one another. I, at least I'm assuming they will. <laughs> I well, hope they well, do. We will send you energies. Please do, because this is like something that I've never done before. So, Or I know you haven't done it either. Done it, okay, neither one of us have done this before. So, all righty then. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take a moment to meditate. Are you going to do that? Okay. We'll see you in a little bit and see what happens. Okay, we're looking Much forward to this. you all, and hopefully you'll have some questions, because I don't think these people are going to have an agenda at this point. <laughs> Perhaps you can ask them questions or have them ask each other questions. I have no idea how this is going to work. You already got a message? Good. Well, then... It'll start off with a message from whoever's coming through. Oh, Endu. She says Endu's coming through. I have no idea who's coming through on my side. So we'll see. <laughs> Let me take a drink of water before we start. Oh, very good. Amazing. All right, here we go. Thank you. We'll just put that down there somewhere. It's a new gun. Okay. Is it? Yeah, okay. Thank you. All right. See you, see you in a little while, everybody. And love you. Blessings. Wait a minute. My friend, you can fix Give me a minute. All right. Hello. Hello. Hello, Grindel. Hello. I'm Grindel. <laughs> so yeah. Grindel, have you met Endu? Okay. Endu. No, I haven't met Endu. Oh, you don't remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We met. Yeah, we did. Yes. We actually talked, actually, mm -hmm. a bit. So, uh, so how nice. are you? Oh, just wonderful. This is, this is absolutely fascinating, this entire process. Yes. Mm. <laughs> the entire process is like trying to fit in. <laughs> if you don't fit in, you don't get the process. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you been doing? Uh, listening to Mr. Talk. Oh, yeah. Yes, the message. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that fourth dimensional stuff. Yeah. Yes, four D stuff. Yeah. I, I would like to address something about that, about the cloud. Oh, about very the good. Dimensional cloud. There is another way to view this. Ah. Fourth dimension can be used as a tunnel, a ah. tunnel between the third and the fifth. Oh. So yeah. as you move through the fourth dimension, you can quite clearly look behind you and see your third dimension, and forward quite clearly you can see the fifth. Very nice. If you view yeah. the fourth as a tunnel. As a gateway, you may move through the dimensions quite yeah. pleasantly, or clear path and direction. Wonderful, like a bridge too. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That would be a more earthly term. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yes. So we're talking with humans now, we're Yes, we are. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah, you have to really spell things out sometimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we need to teach some of them about romance. Romance. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, wow. I see some of them already know. <laughs> yeah, they're really loud about it. So, I thought we agreed you weren't going to do this. Do what? Impose a fun sexual intimacy. Wow, why not? I didn't say I wasn't going to do that. Would you like it if someone came and imposed stuff on you? It doesn't matter to me. Okay. Uh, you know, I... Am. Go ahead. Yes, yes, thank you. Yeah. Miracles. Miracles, my friends. You are witnessing one. As you sit here at this moment, you are witnessing a miracle. No less. This community that has come together, and also with this particular host, the fact that we are all here is a demonstration to each of you how to lead. Lead by demonstration. Create your realities. Manifest them. Become them. This yeah. is your example. What you are experiencing, those in this room, this host, this host, all of it is miraculous, nothing less. You all are able to create and manifest this for yourselves consistently on a daily basis. Miracles. Miracles. Yeah. So as you move through the fourth dimension, Look for your miracles. Mm -hmm. Yes, perhaps you yeah. may, as darling Grinnell here feels yeah. at times, things might get a bit tight. Yeah. You might feel confined. You might find yourself in a situation that doesn't resonate with you. It's a miracle fitting in her body. That's what's a miracle. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Michelle, <laughs> tend to do that again at some time, do you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. We'll give it a shot. Yes. If you gain about 50 pounds. <laughs> I don't think she'd be willing to do that. But anyway. All right. Yes. So, may I continue or would you like to say something? No, go ahead. Very good. So the whole point here is for you to all understand that your days can be filled with miracles. Yeah. The only difference is the size of them. Oh. So, you are witnessing this actual interaction and with the others in this room and with this host who has flown far. Please mm. see the miracle. This is why yeah. this has happened. To show you all what you are capable of. Yeah. You are not so remote. You are all connected. You hear each other. You feel each yeah. other. You know the needs, the desires, the wants. Yeah, the that's, yes. And yeah. the not so loves. Brenda wants to speak. Let's go ahead. Good message. Uh, <laughs> it is a miracle that she's here because this is a long way from where she's from. Believe me, I was there. <laughs> so thank you for that. I'm trying to be gracious here. <laughs> it's not easy, but I love it. I do like that the energy here is really quite interesting and very amazing. Yeah. It's beyond what I felt in a room before. My message to you today is this. Don't be afraid to be yourself. I know that what she's saying, it does miracles happen all the time. And this is one of them. This this place is a miracle because of all do you, uh, there's people here from all over in the place so that's a miracle and but there this is a place where they're being themselves and able to grow let's grow together mm, eh, don't ever repeat that I said that <laughs> Sorry, Grindle, it's recorded. <laughs> oh, expletive should go right here. <laughs> um, but anyway, I won't say it since it's being recorded. 
We appreciate but that. You know what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, I'm. It's good that Andrew's here because I, I he's one I get along with. Yes, so. my friend. My goodness, I can't believe you forgot. No, I didn't. You get around too much. I, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I have, I call it popularity. <laughs> uh, yes, I like that. Yeah. I like it's, that. I'm just not a sleaze bag. Just... Oh, you implying that I am? No, oh, of course not. <laughs> I just oh, love to hear him too, so. Brindle. Why? I love to hear him too, no. I know, but you're not a sleaze bag. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, uh, well, maybe. Okay. But anyway. No, I like I like Endu. I really do. Yes. He does know me much better than he realizes. Yeah. And he does get around. Yeah, it's it's getting tight in here. Wrap it up, sister. Wrap it up? <laughs> I have a question, for Yeah. if I might. So, which race or spiritual race or energy is behind um, the Islam terrorism and the energy they have to try and take... The there is a spirit of confusion. It is a spirit of of taking the priorities away from everybody else and putting them on themselves. There is a sense that they must urgently react to something that they believe God has said to them, but it is not God that spoke to them. It is the spirit of confusion who is great in the world right now. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Is there an alien race working with them as well? There is something? aliens working with everybody on this planet. You can't throw a stone without hitting some alien freak. <laughs> <laughs> is there a particular... A particular... Yes. Actually, now it's becoming very integrated. Those that are uh, do not agree with their species will be renegade from their species and go work with someone else. And they're trying to integrate and infiltrate as many places as possible. So I, it's, it's many. It's not just one or two anymore. It's just there's so many species around that it's just they're, the renegade portions of all these species are, are doing what they will to help or not help. And retrospect will bring wisdom. As was referenced earlier, with yes. the violence that's going on on the planet, mm -hmm. retrospect will bring wisdom. Yes. So I attachment, agree with that. Yeah. Yes, attachment to the fourth dimensional energies will come through retrospect. <laughs> because what will happen is the violence will be carried out. One thing about fourth, fourth dimensional energy, it very much develops a conscience. So many of you who perhaps may find themselves in very uncomfortable situations three-dimensionally know that, yes, you will be able to remove yourself and move through the tunnel of the fourth to the fifth or wherever you choose to go for a temporary period for recharging and then return. But retrospect is, is going to be the biggest catalyst for change throughout the fourth dimension. Yes, of course, we understand. You have concern about injuring each other, injuring the planet. But know that there is purpose. There is always purpose. You know? Yeah. And this is the guidance. So these things will escalate, but also conscience will become a major part of every individual incarnate life form on this planet. Mm -hmm. And here will come the change. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> But there's so much more to it than that. Mm. It's, I mean, that's that's the overview. It's much more specific to each person. Yes, absolutely. And you must do your part. You must take a part in it. You can't just watch it. Because if you're just in a watching position, then it's not going to all happen. You have to be participating 
Mm -hmm. Don't tell them that I purchased. Yeah, and the interacting. And I just, you know. But, you know, I see that everybody here and everybody there has done some participating. And that is a good thing. The intention of being here is participating. With yeah, yeah. And there's many things to learn and will be taught. And even things that you didn't expect to learn with this weekend, you may learn something completely off your charts. Mm -hmm. So that is a good thing. Yeah. May I dress that also? Dress it. You can dress it, undress it, whatever you want. <laughs> you can undress. Oh. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't want to see. I'm a little scalier. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, you're not as unattractive as you think. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Oh. You're right. <laughs> yes. You're right. Yeah, uh, you're right. Go ahead. I'll let her talk. I want to address the current now. Yeah. So, with the collective of humanity that is actually interacting at this point all <laughs> forward, please understand. It is time that is very important for you to be elevating each other, locking in what you have learned, becoming an anchor for others, an anchor for yourself. This is a time period for you to reflect, for you to give yourself points of reference, for you to become wise within yourselves and connect with each other energetically. Now, you are all very well practiced at this because you do it over distance. Mm. That is wonderful. It is also essential that you do it within the confines of company. Yeah. As this happens and you do interact in this way, you will find that once you have, have built yourself confidence in your self-belief, then you can add skill sets. I'm not going to use the word limitation. I want you to add to your skill sets that you already have. What you have mastered is a miracle. Yes. But then it is time to continue to move forward. Abandonment, my friends. It does not always need to be what you refer to as rocket science. Mm. Abandonment. Mm. It's a delicious word. But please indulge yourself. That is what this entire time period is showing to you at this point. Brenda, would you like to address that? Abandonment? Hmm? Nah, not right now. No? Okay, that's fine. Um, I would like to address the fact, I like what you said. You wouldn't say it the way I say it, but that is very true. Hmm. And I, I appreciate you saying it that way because some people will probably understand it better. How would you say it? I don't even know because I wasn't even thinking about that, really. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what. I, I feel very encouraged that many people are going to move forward right now. And this is a, a point in time where you're either going to move forward or you're going to you're going to drop out. Do you feel that? Yes. And I feel that there are many of you, I feel more people are going to move forward than, than any other time. Right now is a time for a lot of people to move forward. Things have accelerated, yes, definitely. Wonderful. More people are coming in. The next yeah. generation that will follow is very powerful, that will make fast changes. It's interesting that it is a time of voting on one of your super countries. Ah. And the way this is being seen amongst the other countries and population of the planet. Ah. It's very interesting. Yeah. Mm. Such a contrast. Yeah, it is a contrast. You ought to see though. Oh, wow. What a contrast. Mm. I think a lot of people are going to write in somebody. I'm not sure. <laughs> It will be interesting. It will be interesting, all right. So anyway, I think that, wow, there's a lot of people here now. There are more people here now than when we started. Lovely. Ah. 
So, do you have anything else to say? I'm just, just hanging, yes, man. Yes, yes. I must say thank you, Grindel. I must say thank you. Thank you to you, Grindel. Oh, thanks. And to what? all others who are here, all others who support, and all of those who love. Wonderful. Good. With well, we would like both of you to know, Andu and ah. Grindel, that we love you. Oh, mushy, mushy. <laughs> my, my friends, much love. Grendel, <laughs> Grendel made the comment about if you threw a stone, you could hit an alien. So I found the biggest crystal that I brought along and had <laughs> taken yeah. over and set it on his lap. That's yeah. the closest thing to a stone that I had. Yeah. <laughs> Hold, can you hold it up and show them, Grindel? If I, Are you able? If I can get my paws around. All right. <laughs> They're helping him. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, oh, it's a, yeah. Is that a rose quartz? Yeah, that's the giant rose quartz. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's for, <laughs> for chucking at aliens, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah, my friend. I had no, to do that. <laughs> that. That had to happen. I'm sure what that was referencing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I'll just say yeah. <laughs> yeah. Grindel, my friends, keep it in your pants, please. Oh. Well, dear Indu, I'm not wearing any. <laughs> so. Something about that. Well, no one can see. That's what uh, you see. Uh, oh, well, you might be yeah. able to. See. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah, well. <laughs> Grindel speechless. Yeah, I know. I didn't expect that from Andu. <laughs> you're you're in, around too, my friend. Andu, oh. you're usually so proper. <laughs> Would you like me not to be? I'm turning green. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. But anyway, no, that's fine. I'm not turning. I'm just, I'm just joshing you. I'm just, uh, yeah. You already green, so. Yeah. Well, sort of. Anyway, I'm out of here. My tail is like getting really stuck right now. Thank so, you for coming, Grindel. Thank you for coming. Yes, I hope we have the opportunity again. I too shall say namaste. Much love. Much namaste. Love. Love. Believe in your miracles. Believe in your miracles. Yeah, yeah. Bye, bye. Bye. Bye, Grindel. Bye. See you again soon. Too sexy for my tail. Too sexy for my tail. I'm too sexy. I wrote that song. <laughs> We love you, Grindel. Yeah, they broke Kim <laughs> again. Welcome back, you guys. <laughs> wow. So is that the first time you guys have laughed yourself out of a trance? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm out. <laughs> what a treat. Wow. <laughs> Poor Jim's going to wake up and say, Why is this giant Hello. rose quartz doing on me? <laughs> hey. Oh my God. You what just happened? Yeah. <laughs> You two have to watch that later. Yeah. Was it interesting? Oh, yeah. At least? <laughs> oh, yeah. It you know was. Okay? Uh, it had to be Grindel. Right? Yeah, yeah, Grindel was good. I felt Grindel was here because he was like complaining about uh, his tail. Yeah. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> wow. His tail. Yes, yeah, so. Wow. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Who's over there? Hi, Sharon. Hi. Sharon is here. Who else is here? Come over. Come on over. Sharon, who else is here? Yay. 
<laughs> Sharon is here, and who else? Oh, that's my spell's Carden. Hi. Hi, Carden. Hi. Nice, Hi. To Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice. Hi, Jim. I'm giving you a hug. Oh. Hi, Carden. Nice. Thank you. So and Carden, come over here. Come on over. <laughs> Give me a hug. Hi, we had some new. Did you see that? We have new people here already. Wow, this room is getting full. So it's amazing. We're having a wonderful, wonderful time. So I thank hope you. Will. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Will, and thank you very, everybody for joining us today. This was really a special, special treat <laughs> to meet uh, Kim Louise in person, and many of you in person. Wendy's here. <laughs> Safira's here. Oh, there's uh, just so many people here. It's like and oh, and, and many, many more are watching. And in the room here, Holly. <laughs> it's wonderful, and Sarah. I just ah. So, um, Guru Dan, of course. Guru Dan is just on the other side of the room doing the emceeing. So it's like wow. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. So Thank it's amazing you guys here. Guys, too. All out there. Thank you too. Love you so much. And oh, it's been I, such a treat today. You two did such a wonderful job. I can't even believe that we got <laughs> we got both of you to channel at the same time and then talk to one another. This is I think some was, kind of amazing day. I hope well, this is just the beginning, guys. <laughs> that's just the beginning. I don't know if that's ever been done. No. And I'm wondering how much of a mess that it would be if everybody that channeled there was channeling at the oh same time God. trying to talk to each other. Oh my God. That would be one. Wild oh, conversation that would be that would be one wild it conversation. Would be a galactic meeting for sure. <laughs> yes. A whole bunch of unplanned time tonight yes. and tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. We can Ab create anything. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. So oh it's and it's only eleven thirty. Yeah. Did you want to bring somebody else? Did you want to bring somebody else through? Sure. I'm gonna let I'm going to leave and let Kim bring somebody through for the last half hour. Oh, wonderful! Uh, and um, uh, she's going to prepare something, doing something to prepare, and I will uh, I will leave you. But it's a real treat for Kim to be here, where her energy is wonderful and beautiful. And so here she is, Kim Louise. Much love. Thank you, Jim. Right. Jim. Oh, wow. Hi everyone. This Hello, Kim. Incredible. Hi, Valerie. Wow. I don't even have the words. I'm just full of feeling. So I hope you can feel it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's such a such a pleasure to have you here with us. Um, we just I can't believe you made it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Miracles happen. Just a such miracle. a perfect experience. For everyone to see yeah. all of you there to enjoy this energy, and without you, it just wouldn't have been complete. No. So thank you for coming. Hey. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, well, thank you, Bill. Have a little friend. Oh. With me, I think most of you know. Yes. Oh <laughs> yes, Kalia. Kalia, Kalia. So, actually, she's happy for me to put it. Like yes, she'll probably play. All right, that is so, so cute. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Do you want that on camera? So yeah. Kalia wants to join in on all the fun. She, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. what a beautiful spirit! Um, Yay, little turtle. Is it? Yeah. Does this bar, green bar broadcast again? No. It doesn't. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> that one, that you. Thank you. Oh yeah, pop them up, Kalia. Oh, beautiful eyes. Oh yeah. Turn that off. All right, are we ready, guys? Yes. All right. I'll see you soon. Okay.
Hello. I'm great. This is so much fun. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, you're all here. Wow. Thanks for like a big us. pajama party. <laughs> Did Valerie say something? I said like a big pajama party. Yeah. Yeah, and some people aren't even sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, their energy is so high. They don't need anything right now except each other. Yeah. So I just wanted to come and say hi to because this is really, really a really important point in my mum's life, and we worked really hard to make this happen. Yeah. And so did you guys. And so I just wanted to say to you all, because I'm always telling you this, that you can be whatever you want to be, and you can do whatever you want to do, and you can, you can be a miracle yourself, and you can make changes. That reach far, 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 right out amongst all the galaxies. And you know what else, too? When you do that, you're healing. There's lots of damage. Everybody talks about damage to Gaia and damage to the people. But you know what? Gaia can heal quicker. People can heal quicker. There's doorways and hallways. Places to sit and places to lay and places to be on the grass and in the trees and in the water, just like here. All those places. Gaia is healing you when you do this and you are healing Gaia. So lots more of you are working with Gaia in ways that you don't even know. Even when you're inside your houses and you're using things that Gaia has provided for you. She's healing you and you're healing her because you're enjoying what she brings. And there's much more of that that goes on than there is all of the fighting and the sadness. So it all outweighs. And as you come to, you're talking about the fourth dimension. As you come to that, it's going to just happen more and more and more. And people are going to realize. And what they'll do, they'll suddenly have an experience. And they'll sit back and they'll realize, wow, that was something different. What was that? How can I find out more about that? So when you start to ask questions like that, and you start to look at people in that way, you wonder, are you asking questions like that too? And you can speak to your spirit group about this, and they will help you find other people to ask those questions with. Some will have answers. Some will be teachers, some will be students, and then they will swap all around. It's all swirling all around all the time. And the other dimensions are there for when you're ready. Sometimes some of you won't go there until after you cross over. You might go visit, you might choose an incarnation up there or up there. But they're all really important. You know, they'll show you ways. And this time, right now, is going to also help you remember. This is a time when you can sit back and you can say, Oh, I remember when I used to think this way. But it's also different now for you. And I want you to say, give yourselves big cuddles when you say, Oh, that's so different and that's so wonderful. Hug yourselves, hug your friends. They don't have to know why. Just hug them. Just touch them. Just be nice and share your energies because you know they move through you. So yeah, that's what I want to tell you about fourth dimensional energies. It's just that they're a doorway away and you can come back and forth as you need to because you know you guys have your 3D stuff to do. So yeah. Did anyone did anyone want to have a question or something? Well, I just would like to say thank you for coming, first of all. Kalia, you're so beautiful, and it's always so wonderful to hear from you. Thank and you. And to combine your energy with everyone there today is just amazing. Just amazing. Yeah. 
I, I am so glad that you're there with your mother and yeah. enjoying her special day. Yeah, me too. And my sister. Yeah. And yeah. who's my sister? And your sister. Hi, yeah. sister. Hi, Hi, sister. Hi, Hi, Love you. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, all right. I'll go then. But thank you very much for having me. And I oh, hope to see you, you all coming. again soon. Thanks for being here. Okay. okay. See you later, Kalia. Love you, Kalia. Can I get a hug, Kalia? Yeah. Oh yeah. Because you know I, want to. I love you. And you Oh everyone's oh, gonna have to oh, come really? and hug Kalia. Oh yeah. Oh I love you. Uh, Thank you for my connection to you. Thank you for sharing all that you share with me. Oh uh, yeah. Thank you for coming to the event. I'm glad you got the invitation. Uh, yeah, uh, I could miss out on this stuff. Oh you got it. Oh yeah. Much love, beautiful soul. Oh, thank you. I love you. So thank you. Thank you, thank everybody out there too. We just are having a wonderful, loving time. <clears throat> yes, it's such a beautiful thing to watch. Yes. <laughs> oh. And it, it, for those who don't know, Jim is the one who helped connect mother and daughter. Yes. So this is a beautiful, beautiful thing to see. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to say hi to Kalia because I want to give her a hug with, with her mommy. Oh, because baby. hi, baby. Hi. Hi. I wanted to thank you for coming to me so long ago. Oh, you're welcome. Thank Hello, you man. for hearing me and seeing me. Thank you for your pink messages <laughs> and your turtles. Yeah. <laughs> I have one too, just like Good. You. Just like you. Really? Yeah. Where did I find one? So you talk to it Such all alien eyes. All the time. And they tell me that the Pleiadians like to come through and talk through them. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that can do They it. have such alien eyes. They do. <laughs> so I just wanted to say thank you. You're welcome. Thank nice you. to meet you, baby. Thank you. Kalia, I would like to say thank you for reminding me to never take for granted my beautiful daughter and yeah. my beautiful son. Yes. Wonder. There are ones out there who have children who may not be living there right with you. They might be grown children like mine. Just remember how blessed we are for every moment we get to spend together. Kalia, yes. you are so blessed to be able to come through your mother I and am. spend this time with us. And we are blessed to know you. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. I am so happy you're here. I love you, too. I love you, too. Oh, so I remember when you through the first time. Yeah, that was amazing, because that was the first time I met Jacquette. Yeah. Oh, wow, she's amazing. I love her. So it's a so current, the really one who was able to bring her through, and that is a, so beautiful. What a beautiful really? gift. Yeah, that was, we were all working on it, us, us in the spirit groups. Wow, that's with cool. Yours, do, you know, do you know my spirit group was talking with your spirit group? Did you know that? Oh, yes. Yeah. At times, yes. Yeah. And that's how we found you. Wonderful. Uh -huh. yes. And I'm glad you're here. Yeah. It's such it's a precious a moment. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much for allowing us it's in. Amazing. Love it. Giving us There's a little so window. <laughs> There's so many people here now. They just keep coming in. They're keeping in. Shron's here now and Adie's here. Or a day. I, I can't. I, Patty, Patty, Patty. A day. And it's amazing. Yeah. More I, people and more people. I'll go now, Jim. You take care. It's nice talking to you. All right. Thank you, everybody. We love you, Kalia. Love, love you. Bye, Kalia. All right. Love you. I guess that's it for us today. But it's been a beautiful time. Amazing. I think Will has something to say. Come on over, Will. No, I was just going to wait for Kim to come back. And, I think the whole thing has been beyond belief. Beyond <laughs> belief is a good way to say it. Yep. All I got to say is watching this, I was just in awe the whole time. It was just the information that uh, Ish provided and watching Endu and Grindle together. It was 
absolutely amazing. I don't know, we're having camera issues. There it's we go. fine, we can hear you fine. And, uh, yeah, it was absolutely epic. And then Kalia, what a blessing. Thank you so much for bringing her through. Uh, this, yes, this this event would not be complete without Kalia. Kalia is so special to me. She has to be here. <clears throat> she, she absolutely has to be here. To be here. She yeah. has to be here. Yeah. When I first saw Kalia, I first, it was during one of the webinars while I was sitting next to Jim, and Kim was in the webinar just as one of the participants, and I connected in, and I saw Kalia dancing around Kim, and it was just so awesome. It was it was a huge pleasure, and, and she comes in and connects every once in a while with me and reminds me um, of many beautiful things in life. And I am so grateful. I am so great. Thank you all for being here and being a part of Beyond Belief. It's just it, starting. It is Beyond Belief. <laughs> and I keep hearing everybody, this, this, this is so amazing. And it's just the beginning. It's just <laughs> the beginning. It go. is not too late to sign up online. I'm sorry for the cheesy sales pitch, but it's not <laughs> too late. It really isn't. Okay? If you feel called, please. Contact me or Dan, and we'll get you links to the events. Okay? Amazing day. Yeah. It's later today. We're going to take a little break. We're going to eat. We're going to enjoy each other's company. We're going to then we're going to talk about our beliefs. And then Dan's going to do a galactic healing. And then we're, we're going to do a regression, a four Holy Fire regressions. We're going to go experience two past lives, a current lifetime that's in a different now on an alternative lifetime that's relevant to you now. Oh, and yeah. we are going oh, yeah. to go into the future and talk to our future self and get advice from our future selves. It's epic. That is beyond, beyond belief. belief. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And Lana's here too. I forgot to say it. And and <coughs> Safira. There's so many people here. And there Angie is. and Sarah. And we have more people coming. And more people later. coming. It is a blessed gathering. Michelle is on her way. Michelle Euro in a, a car full of people there. Yes. Oh really? Yes. So yeah. it's amazing. This, this There's amazing. going to be a, over 20 people here. So I, I'm humbled at the attendance. Just yes. the amount of people of. The amount of people I get to hug, and I'm, and it's, and it's already a profit from all the hugs I'm getting. It's, it's amazing. It's yeah. simply amazing. I it's will never be the profit. same person from all the hugs and all the love that's here. Oh, it's absolutely. Well, that's so sweet. Well, so Wendy, get your ass right here. <laughs> she She's come. Crawling. She crawled over. <laughs> I, get I just to want to thank Wendy. you all for this allowing us this, this, this little window oh my into God, your beautiful day. This lady is amazing, and oh my God, I get to hug her. Yeah, this, is so, this is such a selfish <laughs> moment right now. <laughs> hey, and ditto. It's, exactly. It's, it's, oh my God. Ditto. This is epic. This is just epic right here. Okay, so, so much so energy scary. sitting on that. Yeah, it's <laughs> it is amazing. Oh. Amazing, amazing. Does anybody to want to say a blessing today? Oh, yeah. Can, can we do a blessing? It's going to be a giant, it's going to be a, a giant 60 minute blessing probably going to go on here. <laughs> anybody else here want to do a blessing? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I need a blessing. Sure. Anybody? Anybody? Holly? It well, may we're just all just start really a line. Just wanting to hang on to every Mark. moment here that we can, so we'll go with the blessings too. <laughs> oh, Sarah, there's everyone. Oh, my sister! <laughs> it's oh, you guys are beautiful people, every one of you. Oh, we are so happy, you guys. We're so it's happy to be together. I'm unbelievably happy here. Oh, we're so happy to be together. I can feel it. I can feel the happiness. I can feel the vibration. That's just absolutely beautiful. It's yeah. amazing. Well, that's very cool. Beyond yeah. belief. <laughs> yeah. Who's going to start the blessing now? Okay. Yeah. How are we doing the blessing? Oh, yes. Yeah. Everybody get behind the couch. Anybody who wants to be on camera. 
Anybody oh, want come to come? Please, right? everybody who wants to stay. Come on, come, come on, on, everybody. Wish to get. Well, come maybe. On, come on, come on. We're kind of squished already. <laughs> come on, everybody. Can somebody sit next to Sarah? Okay, so come, come on, sit up front. Back in the camera. Camera, 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 camera went off. Sit in. Oh. Sit where, with me. Sit everywhere. Sit everywhere you can. <laughs> sit it. That's the can one. Can you wiggle the USB or something there? Yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Oh, you have to. I think oh, it, what, it yeah. got turned off up here too. Yeah, see, to see, you have to turn yeah, it off. Yeah. There you go. Okay. No, the cat may help. Yeah, turn no, it back on. No. Sometimes it takes a second. Oh, there it is! Wow! <laughs> look at that! <laughs> wow! Wow! Look at everybody! Wow! No, nah, you guys stay over there. Stay over there. <laughs> stay over there. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> nice oh, group. Isn't that right. a nice group? Beautiful group mm -hmm. of people. And we've seen lots of ships, guys, in the air already. Yeah. We're very blessed and protected here today. And it thundered, and, and that was a beautiful Thunder sign yesterday. Lightning. Ooh. Yeah, that's beautiful. Ooh. Well, that that was it was awesome. a meditative right. sign, and uh, Sarah did a meditation when it's thundering. Nice. Yeah. It was a singing meditation. I think it should be online, but. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's app. You can <laughs> <laughs> they gave me an idea yesterday, so we'll see how it works out. <laughs> yeah, we're all getting filled with all these new ideas, so it's going to be an uh, impromptu crazy weekend. Okay, everybody, thank you so much. I can't even believe we're all here together, and I know beyond belief is like the perfect word for this place, Will. <laughs> Beyond belief, the whole thing, the whole, the whole, uh, everything. Can you move it over so that we can see Shrons? Oh, are we missing one? Yeah. Oh, we, we can see. Good yeah. job. Right. <laughs> Just hey. switch the side, everybody. Just don't unplug the camera. Here's Holly. There's me. Hello. 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 And what a beautiful know. family. Mm -hmm. yes. We have a beer right here. <laughs> now we need a family photo. <laughs> I know we can't, we can't get Dan over here. He's over on the controls. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the daddy Dan. Well, we can see Dan, and he's right in the middle of all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I got to Arkansas, it's been uh, um, Uncle Daddy. Yeah, <laughs> Uncle He's Daddy on the control. <laughs> <laughs> so from every realm, and the Emissaries of the Light Collective, um, from every race, civilization, our angels, our spirit guides, everybody's here today, guys. So, well, they're always here, but it's really strong here today. It is. Mi sali sa toruko e mela sa sa pahi no kora shela sa yana kotoruwa. Paliasa sabi leana kasho. Mi tala isatia. Koleamba kisha ni valea kasina. Hotu kusa paliana katora kuso. Mina olukuso payashi. Otu kura si. Inaila sasapi kia tarakiliana kuso. Mohale ya sasaki. Turu kusa miana shi shiela kiha. Noku. Tora somali. Ayisa torukuma. Lisa mi tarakalasi ha kashanaki korashi ha ni puko salasi anaka tuha si ito kuya amahatu asia tadi kashano pula sisi ya otuha moso loko shapila sasaki talikina oso turukusha ma ilaka turukusha mi ito kusha ma ye washa shikatila osa ya amoko shapila sasaka puko samola si aniha turukusha Osha Nila Atu Usulagi Mima Ila Katura Sapia Isuturuku Mosha Lasi Tarakuna Amaha Ama Ama Oturuku Sadiatara Kisina Hamu Koshaya Ahura Shishapila Sasaki Usatiliana Nosa Apulasa Anita Eturukusa We are one light. May the energy reach out and strike you to awaken another part of your creativity, another part of your enlightenment, another part of your love for humanity and for rising. May the love that is here in this room and here around the world 
unite in a way that is more powerful than ever before. May it be a dream come true in many senses. May it be a dream that you can re realize and be made part of your reality. Bring all this energy into touch with one another, into touch with the world. Be an example of it and make it what it should be on this planet is a world of great communicators and lovers and light beings instead of the negativity that is sometimes or always being talked about. Let's bring positivity into focus, not in a way that is uh, unpowerful or unknowing, but in a way that is very stable and people will want to be a part of it. In a way that people will want to join in, in a, in a way that is God-given. Namaste. 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 Namaste, everybody. And so it is. Yes. Wonder. Thank you. Anybody else? Thank you, Wendy. Sarah. I'll hold it Okay, hang on a second. Let me zoom out. Let's hope I don't lose camera. Go. Yes. It's beautiful. Unpause. <clears throat> It is so hard to contain the energy that is within this room. It is bursting out. It is moving into the world and into the street and into the universe and into all portions that will be able to feel it. We are among those that are able to feel it and accept it and bring it into our reality. Thank you so much all of you for being who you are and for rising in this way. We will support you in every way that we can and we love you in a way that you have no idea that we could. Please be aware that we will be with you and give you energy. Call upon us if you need us. Make us part of your rising. Make us part of who you are and we will reach out beyond the galaxy to introduce you as our neighbors. Namaste. 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 Sarah, that was the biggest, whitest, silverest cobra I've ever seen in my entire life. In my head. <laughs> yeah. I mean, huge. Wow. I'm talking huge. Yeah. Wow, Sarah. <laughs> you pack <Me>. a punch. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anybody else? Anybody else that wants to offer a blessing? English. It can be in English. <laughs> English or any other language. Or any language, yes. It, and it can be beyond belief. <laughs> <laughs> if not, then we bid you a wonderful day from here in beautiful Hot Springs, Arkansas, uh, on Lake Bye. Hamilton. Bye. We are just so excited to be here, and it, it's just going to get better and better.
Oh, thank every one of you for blessing us this day. It there will be more uh, podcasts from here too. Oh, how thank wonderful! You thank you, Dan, Jim, Kim. Yeah. <laughs> so, Dan, did you have any announcements about you know, maybe where people can find the event? Yeah, the events have been posted on the uh, the past events for over the past couple of weeks, and um, they're. <laughs> You can find them on the uh, Human Colony website. You can find them on the YouTube site. You can find them in the chat boxes. You can find them just about everywhere. There's uh, uh, You can find them on the Reiki with Will website. You can find out about all the activities for the next five days that will be going on here. Um, send Will and I an email. You can always sign up, too, if you feel that you're called. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, if they can go to the uh, calendar of events and see the events that they might be interested in, then they can um, they can uh, buy the link and uh, and get the video. So all the stuff is going to be recorded in multiple different formats, I think. So all kinds of good stuff going on. But it just uh, keeps giving and giving for the next few days. It's just going to be a great big collection of things going on. I'm not even sure what else happening at, or at what time, but. Uh, so, Just, yeah, uh, if anybody watch watching sites. feels the need to connect or wants to join in, now you know how. Yes, just keep watching. So, blessings, everybody. Uh, <laughs> we're about to go rock the planet. So uh, All right. Thank, thank you. you so much for bringing this to <laughs> thank us Thank you for today. watching the yeah. TV. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they they gonna... did today what I have never even imagined could be done. So, you too, Jim, Kim. <laughs> Absolutely epic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, everybody, you know, for coming. Leave. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. a great day. I'm going to do my other George Jetson job. See you all later. <laughs>